All new at 11, a new era of Charlotte Hornets basketball is on the horizon. After 13 years as the team's majority owner, Michael Jordan has reached an agreement to sell his stake in the franchise. Now, he's expected to still retain a minority share, but will no longer oversee basketball operations once the deal is complete. It's a move that is a welcome change for many Hornets fans, though, who have not seen their team reach the playoffs since 2016. Our Cam Gaskins is joining us now live after getting reaction to today's news. So, Cam, what's the overall attitude from fans you talk with heading into the offseason? Yeah, well, John, simply put, this is as exciting of a time to be a Hornets fan as we have seen in quite a while. Not only is a new ownership group coming in, but you have to remember Charlotte has the number two overall pick in next week's NBA draft. Now, I did speak with some fans who admit it's a little bittersweet to see a legend like Michael Jordan step away from the team, but ultimately they believe this will be a step in the right direction for the franchise. It's uh, what you might call a historic day in Charlotte, North Carolina. For the first time in more than a decade, Michael Jordan, the GOAT, the face of basketball, will no longer be the face of the Hornets. 13 years as owner of the local professional basketball team really didn't go well. WFNZ Sports Radio host Kyle Bailey not mincing any words Friday when recapping MJ's tenure in the Queen City. He's had one foot out the door for a couple of years now. It felt like this has been coming. Credit him for the great philanthropic work that he's done off the court. But basketball? There's not much we can say. And it's hard to argue that point. In the 13 years that Jordan has owned the Hornets, the team sits 26th out of 30 teams in the NBA in terms of wins and losses, and has only made the playoffs three times with no series wins in any of those trips. Devoted fans like Evan Kent are hopeful that brighter days are ahead with new owners. It does feel like a light at the end of the tunnel a little bit, to, I think, to a lot of us. Kent has endured season after season of disappointments and is expecting a change in ownership to bring a new commitment to winning in the Spectrum Center. With this new group, I think the general hope is just, <laughs> do you want to be relevant? We're hoping that you want to be relevant. We're hoping that you want to win. Kent does admit it's bittersweet that Jordan is stepping back, but ultimately this is necessary for the future of this franchise. Clearly his priorities in life have changed. And, and you know, I think it, the fans are owed, you know, somebody who is willing to take us and is invested enough to take us to the next level. Now, according to a report from ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski today, Jordan is expected to stay on as the head of basketball operations through next week's draft and also the beginning of free agency, which is set to start July 1st. All of that taking place before this deal finalizes and this new ownership group is set to take things over from there. Reporting live in Charlotte, Gaskins WBTV on your side. All right. Thanks a lot, Cam. And now the question is, who's buying the majority stake in the Hornets, a group known as the Buyer Group, which includes several local Charlotte investors, as well as recording artist Jay Cole and country music star Eric Church. Both are from North Carolina. And how much is the sale worth? There's been no official word, but ESPN reports the deal is worth $3 billion.